what's up? I'm making this video about how black journalists have failed the black community. Black journalists failed to hold Democrats accountable for their lies and their neglect and their pandering to the black vote. They want us to continue this abusive relationship, this toxic relationship in which there is nothing being gained. All of the gains that was acquired after the Civil War has been gradually diminished via the Democrats, via the United States government, via black leadership selling us out black leadership is still under mandatory meritorious manumission a slave policy in which they get trinkets and rewards for selling their people out and doing good deeds for their masters in this instance they get jobs all the black journalists care about is their own jobs and their own money also they're ruled by fear the Woody Lynch letter they witnessed one of their colleagues, Roland Martin, get hogtied, brutalized, and lynched, tossed out the window for failing to get Hillary Clinton elected. Him and Donna Brazil, they was part of a scandal in which they gave the, the answers to the questions to Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton lost after doing a jig dance with, with Roland Martin talking about eating hot sauce and fried chicken. None of that worked. She still lost to Trump. And because the Democrats lost, they threw Roland Martin out the window. He was fired from MSNBC. Then he was tossed out the window of the, uh, TV One because he put on a guest by the name of Umar Johnson. He was tossed out the window. Now all of the black journalists who want this meritorious manumission, these trinkets and rewards from their masters, they are selling their peoples out and they're staying in line until yesterday when the uh, National Association of Black Journalists invited and uh, hosted President Trump in Chicago to their so-called chagrin. But Coon Johnson, Mayor Johnson, got on stage to castigate uh, Donald Trump, to denigrate Donald Trump, also to denigrate the National Association of Black Journalists. But these same black journalists failed to hold Coon Johnson accountable. He ran on a platform that he was gonna help the black teenagers of Chicago. He was gonna stop crime. He was gonna help investments. All Coon Johnson did was acquiesce to the demands of Senator Durbin, uh, Governor Pritzker, Joe Biden the agenda of the illegal aliens. He, he is not doing anything for the so-called black people that voted him in because of his black skin. And I'm gonna show you exactly what Durbin, Senator Durbin and Senator Tammy Duckworth is working on right now. They're working on a policy. They're working on legislation to introduce to Congress to pass an act to help the illegal aliens via $5 billion right now. Durbin never introduced a bill to Congress to help the black people. He sat back and allowed the black communities in Chicago to be decimated, destroyed. Cabrini Green, Robert Taylor's, Harold Ickes, Stateway, thousands and thousands of black people were displaced from Chicago under Durbin, the former Black Panther, uh, what's that dude's name? Bobby Rush, Danny Davis, all of these black Ottomans, they allow over 200,000 of their own people to be exiled from the city. Democrats put no policies in place, no, no acts of Congress to help us with economic development. The only act of Congress that helped the black community was the economic uh, policy of Donald Trump and Tim Scott, Opportunity Zone Act, in which uh, the former mayor of Chicago, Lori Lightfoot, financed her invest in the south and west with the money gave, given to her by Trump 
coronavirus funds, and also she used the Opportunity Zone Act to use city government funds to invest in these Opportunity Zone communities. It was a Republican president that signed the act that benefits the black community in Chicago. It's not Coon Mayor Johnson. It's not Pritzker, Governor Pritzker, the Ukrainian Jew who came to America with $2 in his pocket. Now he owned all of the Hiltons. He's a billionaire now. He, he shut down and destroyed hospitals, a giant hospital in Chicago Heights. He destroyed a hospital in Melrose Park. He destroyed another hospital in Bronzeville. Prisker was on a rampage of destroying hospitals. And he turned one of the Cook County Hospital old buildings into a Hyatt, a Hyatt hotel to benefit Prisker. Yet, the black journalist is saying nothing about this. The black journalist seems to be partial towards the agenda of the Democrats to the to the uh detriment of the black people who vote who vote we don't vote for the black journalists but the vac black journalists are under a so-called code of ethics to report the truth but how come the black journalists the black publications never put out never put out a history report to show the progress the gains the loss the triumphs and the tragedies of the black people. They keep us focusing on partying, dancing, the next Democrat to vote for. They did not hold Bill Clinton accountable for his failures, his 94 crime bill. Let me read a, a portion of this 94 crime bill via Wikipedia. Hold on. You can see how detrimental this thing was. Hold on. Violent Crime Control and Law Enforcement Act, a.k.a. the 94 Crime Bill, a.k.a. Clinton Crime Bill. Really, it was Jim Crow Joe's Crime Bill. What does it say? Let me read this. Uh, dealing with crime and law enforcement, it became law in 1994. It is the largest crime bill in the history of the United States even worse than slavery I'm just saying that and consisted of 356 pages that provided for 100,000 new prison pr police officers 9.7 billion in funding for prisons which were designed with significant input from experienced police officers Sponsored by U.S. Representative Jack Brooks of Texas, the bill was passed by Congress and signed into law by President Bill Clinton. Then Senator Joe Biden of Delaware drafted the Senate version of the legislation in cooperation with the National Association of Police Organizations, also incorporating the Assault Weapons Ban and the Violence Against Women Act with Senator Om Hatch. Do you see what I'm saying? They put $9.7 billion for prisons in 1994. So imagine how much money that is in today's term. That's probably over $100 billion that Joe Biden and Bill Clinton put towards prisoning black people, throwing blacks in prison. Look at what Senator Durbin and Tammy Duckworth is doing. Look what they're doing. Watch this. Duckworth Durbin called for additional federal support to help cities like Chicago address migrant crisis. Washington, D.C. This is from DuckworthSenate.gov. This is a, a government website. U.S. Senator Tammy Duckworth, Democrat, Illinois, and U.S. Senator Senate Majority Whip Durbin, Democrat, Illinois, today urged the bipartisan leadership of the Senate Appropriations Committee to provide significant additional federal support to interior cities 
including the city of Chicago, to help these cities more effectively address the ongoing crisis migrants. In today's letter, the senators expressed strong support for fulfilling the urgent request of interior cities to invest at least $5 billion in the Federal Emergency Management Agency Shelter and Services Program to ensure these communities are able to continue receiving, processing, and caring for arriving families, particularly vulnerable children, in a safe and humane manner. It says, I quote, we write to express strong support for fulfilling the request of interior city mayors, including the dishonorable Coon Mayor Brandon Johnson of Chicago, to appropriate $5 billion for Federal Emergency Management Agency's FEMA Shelter and Services Program. The senators wrote, though this request is $3.6 billion above President Biden's National Security Supplemental requested amount of $1.4 billion. The amounts are necessary to address the scope of the challenges that interior cities such as Chicago, Boston, New York, Denver are facing. The senators continued these cities are investing significant local, are wasting, allegedly wasting they talking about investing and in wasting significant local resources to care for migrants in a safe and humane minor, manner, despite the unacceptable lack of communication and coordination by politicians like Texas Governor Greg Abbott, who is seeking to cynically use vulnerable migrants, including families and children, as partisan pawns to uh, demonize asylum seekers and sow chaos. The Coon, Mayor Johnson, is asking for $5 billion. The Coon, the, the sellout, the one who said he was going to bring money to help the black teenagers and to stop black on black crime, all he asked the Congress to do is bring more money for the migrants. I don't see the black people concerns anywhere in this letter. U.S. Senator Durbin, Duckworth, Coon, Mayor Johnson, and the rest of the Coons, the Democrats, who the black people voted for, is not sending legislation to Congress to help black people with housing, high prices, inflation, investment in businesses, invested in infrastructure, nothing. And the black journalist should be the one talking about this. But instead, the black journalist is talking about uh, DEIA, DEA, DEI hires, which is irrelevant. We got more black women in positions of power and jobs than black men. You know, black women got most of the money, most of the education, yet we live in extreme poverty, abject poverty under black women. So what good is it? What good is it at all? But the black journalists, the black journalist has an obligation to keep the people informed about the tragedies because in the Bible, they are called the watchmen. They are the ones who are supposed to warn the shepherds that danger is on the horizon. They are supposed to be the publishers that let us know and warn us from destruction, but they keep us pacified. The black Democrats' job is to keep the black people pacified under some delusion of, of inclusion that somehow we are benefiting from having a Democrat especially a Democrat with black skin, brown skin. That Democrat with black skin is going to somehow benefit you. Yet, this black skin Democrat, Coon Johnson, is asking for $5 billion to, to give to illegal alien migrants. He's not asking for $5 billion to help black men open up a black Wall Street corridor. He's not talking about investing in our businesses and our schools in our homes, strengthening our families, increasing our health, bettering our health, better hospitals, nutrition, healthcare, all 
this black coon Brandon Johnson is sell out uh, trader is talking about is migrants. All he care about is migrants. You're gonna wake up and learn one day. Hopefully we, you don't get to learn because at that point when you do learn it'll be too late. But yeah, the black politicians, the black uh, journalists are all in cahoots. They're working together because they're all working for this manumission and they fear being cut off from their masters. It's like Roland Martin was cut off. He was thrown out, he was lynched, brutalized. If you read the Willie Lynch letter, let me see if I can find that. Read a couple of that. What they have to do to you. What they have to do to you to keep the rest of the slaves in line. Uh, you might type that up real quick. Cause you ain't gonna know. Willie Lynch letter. We read that. Read that. Make another slave. Read that. Let me get a better copy. Hold on. Hold on. Check that out. Check that out. Hold on. What eventually letter? Greetings, gentlemen. I have a foolproof method for controlling your black slave. Control the slaves for at least 300 years. My method is simple. Any member, any member of your family or your overseer can use it. I have outlined a number of differences among the slaves, and I take these differences and make them bigger. I use fear and distrust and envy for control purposes. Well, let me look at this. The brutalization. Look at the brutalization. Broken. Hold on. Both horse and niggers are no good to the hold on economy if it is wild or natural state. Hold on, hold on. This is crazy. When he broke breaking the pro the breaking process. Male image destroyed. With the male image destroyed. Hold on. He's talking about break destroying the male image. With a brutalizing. Take the female and run a series of tests. If she will submit to your desires willingly. I'm talking about. I'm talking about. Hold on. Hold on. Break the offspring in early. This is crazy. Keep the body, take, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Take the mind. Keep the body, take the mind. Based on a following discourse concerning uh, economics, economics of breaking, and tying a horse and the nigger together, all inclusive of the six principles laid down above. Note, neither principle alone will suffice for good economics. All principles must be employed must be employed down above. Note, neither principle alone will suffice. Uh, all principles be employed for orderly and for orderly good of the nation. Accordingly, both a wild horse and a wild or natural nigger is dangerous even if captured. AC was talking about tying them up, breaking them burn them, castrating them, stuff like that. The Negro marriage. Look at this. Control language. This this uh, <laughs> uh, being a fool is one of the basic ingredients of any incidents to the maintenance of the slavery system. It says, we must completely annihilate the mother tongue but yeah, yeah, I want to get to the part where you break down. Hold on, here you go, right here. Then you can turn the stud to freedom until you need him again. 
train a female horse whereby she will eat out of your hand and she will in turn train the infant horse to eat out of your hand also when it comes to breaking the uncivilized nigger use the same process but 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 vary the degree and steps up the pressure so as to do a complete reversal of the mind take the meanest and most restless nigger stripped him of his clothes in front of the remaining male niggers the female and the nigger infant tar and feather him tie each leg to a different horse laced in opposite directions set him a a, a, a fire and beat both horse to pull him apart in front of the remaining niggers the next step is to take a bull whip and beat the remaining nigger males to the point of death in front of the female and the infant don't kill him but put the fear of God in him for he can be useful for future breeding the breaking process of the African woman you see what I'm saying this is what they did to Coon Johnson now they, they probably did this do this to Coon Johnson but this is what they did to Roland Martin in front of all of the black journalists and now the black journalists are afraid to challenge their masters the black journalists are coons and cowards they don't want to report the truth and they don't want to hold these democrats accountable you look at the last four democrat presidents i think it's jimmy carter bill clinton barack obama joe biden jimmy carter stripped the uh, minority business development agency that was created by Richard Nixon he stripped that it was it had a lot it was a lot more robust it had more influence he stripped it Bill Clinton didn't do anything with it Bush he reduced it Obama didn't do anything with it Biden didn't do anything with it it's still not a, a federal agency it still exists because of a executive order let me let me get to, let me get to that let me get to that so people know what I'm talking about hold on hold on most people don't even know anything because hold on the black media the black journalists don't really report the news. The black media don't report the news. So most of these black people are just ignorant. It's this right here. Minority Business Development Agency empowering minority businesses. This this black woman. This create this agency was created by Nixon. But now when you call up the Minority Business Development Agency, all of the resources are going to Mexicans, East Indians, Chinese, all the minorities except the black man. They say there's nothing set aside for a black man. There's no resources left. 1.5 billion capital, 3.8 billion in contracts. Who did those contracts go to? White women? 19,000 jobs acting under Secretary of Minority Business Development Eric whoever this is statement responds to Minority Business Development Agency holds second annual access to capital summit at the U.S. Department of Commerce the Minority Business Development Agency celebrates business organizations and advocates but yet none of these people who's benefiting from this are the black man white women Asians look at this B black women but this or this agency was created by Richard Nixon and it was stripped to almost oblivion by Jimmy Carter and then Bill Clinton didn't do anything Obama didn't do anything now tell me one policy 
that Bill Clinton did other than finance prisons with $9.7 billion with his crime bills? What did he do to help black people with schooling, with money, resources, business development, training program? What did Bill Clinton do? What did Barack Obama do when he was the so-called black president after Bill Clinton? What did he do for black people? Nothing. Lost more housing under Barack Obama. Descent since uh, Reconstruction. We lost everything under Barack Obama. And we lost hope. You got this Jim Crow Joe Biden in there. He gets uh, the, he, Obama. Oh, yeah, Obama did the Dreamers Act. DACA. Talking about illegal alien children are dreamers. Even though black children was the subject of Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech. Obama took our dream and gave it to illegal aliens. Obama took our dream and gave our dreams to the Ma the Mexicans. Now the Mexicans are living the dream that Dr. King dreamed of holding hands with a white man. <laughs> Black children holding hands, it's Mexican children holding hands with white children, getting all the resources. It's these Mexicans doing it because Obama, to my dreams of his father, his father was a king and flee in this country Talking about he had rights in America and his anchor baby Kamala Harris. She's another dreamer. She don't want to go to India. She don't want to go to Jamaica. She want to stay here and get benefits off somebody else's struggle. And then give all the resources to the the migrants, the illegal migrants. I just showed you this article. So you know I'm just talking. I'm not just talking. Duckwork Durbin called for additional federal support to help cities like Chicago address migrants. How much money do they want? Let's see. Five billion at least. They talking about invest at least five billion. They not talking about invest five billion in those black community like Flint, Michigan, Detroit, Michigan, Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio, Chicago, Illinois, uh Dalton, Illinois, uh LA East, uh, East Chicago, what else? New York. You're not investing anything in no black community, Harlem, to fight it, to fight gentrification, because we're being outpriced, taxes going up, can't afford the taxes, so the county take your property and give it to uh, the Mexicans for one dollar, because you can't afford the property taxes. They're gonna take your house, take your community. Give it to the migrants, and then the migrants ain't got no money. Biden talking about uh, Coon, Coon Mary Johnson talking about uh, the government got to give five billion to help finance some illegal migrants, which is right here. And this is uh, Tammy. Hold on, hold on. This is Tammy Duckworth's uh, government website. Crisis in Israel. Talking about crisis in Israel. What about the crisis in the black community? It's a government website. I didn't just make this up. But yeah, black um, journalists have absolutely failed. They're irrelevant. They don't report the truth. They don't give us an almanac. They don't give us a detailed hit list of history, historical figures. They don't give us a list of the trials and uh, tribulations of the past so we could be aware of who the enemies are and what's old. They're not talking about reparations. All they're talking about is voting for Democrats for nothing. All they want is to keep their meritorious manumission, keep their trinkets, and they don't want to end up like Roland Martin, how he got lynched, the witty lynched, tied him up to a horse, beat him down in front of all the Negro journalists, and none of them stood up for Roland Martin. Roland Martin looked like a clown. After all he did for Hillary Clinton, all these Democrats, his whole career, and they threw him out like yesterday's garbage. He's stinking like yesterday's trash. Threw him out like a piece of garbage. But yeah, that's about it.